Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're making a video about Swaybot, which I made a couple months ago, but now it is finally back up with its V1.0 update. And it's got a lot of cool new features and it has access to unreleased skins, emotes, and it is really easy to get. So before I show you guys that, thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. And at 50,000 subscribers, we're doing a huge giveaway with multiple winners. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. And make sure you guys like the video if you enjoy and if you want more people to see this video as well. And it will help out with YouTube's algorithm and getting this video to more people. Let's get right into the video. So the first thing that you want to do to get this bot is you got to join the Swaybot Discord server and I'll have the link for this in the description and once you're in the server it should take you to one of these channels. So if it does not take you to start a bot channel make sure to just click on that start a bot channel right down here and then it should take you to something like this. So the next thing you want to do is type in the command to get the bot. So this command is going to be start bot. Type that and then right there it'll send you a DM. So you just wanna check in the top left of your DMs and you should see one from this bot called Swaybot. And you'll see that it gives you every single command right on over here. So the next thing you wanna to do to get this bot into your lobby is you wanna copy this right on over here. It'll have a number and then a dot and then the bot name. So you wanna copy that. And then you wanna go on into Fortnite and then you just wanna paste it right on into here. And it should accept your friend request. And then you want to go back to Discord if you want, and you'll see that it will accept your friend request. So you'll see mine just accepted the friend request right here. So once it accepted your friend request, you just want to go over here and you want to invite it to your party. So once you invite it to your party, you just want to go back into Discord and you just want to click on this button, the check button, and this is going to um, accept it and let it into your party. So there you go. It is in my party now. And if you don't want anybody to join, make sure you have your party privacy on private. So that's pretty much all you have to do to get it set up. And I'll show you guys the commands right after this. So there's two more things I want to show you guys before I show you guys the commands. So the first thing is if you want this bot into your own Discord server so you can get Swaybots in your Discord server, um, just type in invite, exclamation point, invite into the bot command section of the server. Just press enter and then it'll send you a link and you just have to click on that link to invite it to your server. And another thing that I'm going to do is put this link into the description if you want to do it that way. That's also an option. And then the second thing is about premium. So if you want premium, all you have to do is boost his Discord server once and you'll get it for an entire month. And what this does is you get a four hour bot uptime. So you get to keep your bot for four whole hours and it lets you change the status command, which is pretty much what it says um, when you're looking at it in your friends list and what other people are looking at it in their own friends list. So that's pretty much what that does. So there's a ton of new commands they added in the v1.0 update but i'll only show you guys a few of them because as you guys can see there's a ton of them and you guys could just do them on your own but there's a few ones that i want to mention that you guys will probably need to know in this video so the first one's going to be once you're in your lobby you want to promote this bot to party leader so just click on manage and then you're going to click on make party leader like this and it should have the crown above him of course to show that he's a party leader and then after that um, you can start doing the command for hiding the bot, which will make it more believable for trolling or if you're doing like any sort of video where you're trying to show off the unreleased skins. This will really help out with the video to make it uh, just better. So if you want to do that, just do exclamation point hide like this. And then this will pretty much hide the bot in your lobby. And this only works if the bot is party leader. So you guys can see that now it looks like the bot is the only person in the entire party. And yeah, like I was saying, this will really help out with um, videos and other things like that. And then of course, if you want to unhide it, just do exclamation point unhide and that will completely unhide the bot. So the next command is going to be the ready and unready command. So I just want to clarify a few things about this. Um, if you ready up and the bot readies up, then this will not send you into a game. It's purely cosmetic and the bots cannot play games and the bots also cannot gift you that's what a few people were asking about in the comments in their discord server so just to answer those right now they can't do that it's just not possible so to do the ready command you just want to do exclamation point ready like this and once you type in exclamation point ready you'll see that and of course he said this is only visual because of course lobby bots cannot play games that's why they're called lobby bots so you'll see that it is ready right now and it'll just be purely cosmetic and of course if you want it to unready you just do exclamation point unready like this and then it won't ready like that so we'll just go back to what it was when you first invited it 
So the next thing that you want to do is before you start moving on to the actual cosmetic commands, you might want to do set owner, which is really helpful. So you want to do set owner, and then you just want to type in the owner's epic name. So I'm just going to type in mine. So there we go. The owner is now me. So that's pretty much what you do for that. And that'll really help out with a few things like getting the same bot. So that is pretty much what you can do. And I'll show you guys the status command, which is a premium only command. So I have premium in the server. And if you guys want this, um, you're gonna have to boost the server and it's really helpful because um, it doesn't have any like branding on it You can make it your own completely custom text. So we're just going with status and Then you can do the text. So we'll just do status and we can do hi So we'll change the status to hi and you guys will see that the status will be changed so the next one is going to be the promote command so this command will let you promote other people in the party so if you want the bot to promote you back to party leader you can do that I'm not gonna be showing it because then it'll just unhide the bot and that'll kind of mess up everything so now moving on to the actual cosmetic commands that a lot of people want so this is just gonna be the top section of commands right over here so it'll be this entire section right up here um, there's about eight or nine of those commands that are really really useful so the first one is going to be the skin command. Um, you guys, if you've been watching our videos, you probably know about this one by now, but I'll be showing you it anyway. And then later on the video, if you guys want to skip over to that part, I'll be showing you guys how to get the unreleased skins and a really good website to get those unreleased skins and exactly what you need to type in. For now, we're just going to be doing a uh, normal skin that most people know, uh, that most people will probably end up using for this. So we'll just do like Black Knight. Haven't done this one in a while, so it'll change it. And of course, right on over here, you'll see that there is the ID. So if you have the ID for the skin and it's like this, you can just paste that in and that'll also change it to Black Knight. So there's two different ways to get these skins. And you guys can see that the skin has actually changed to the Black Knight skin. All right, so the next command is going to be the emote command. And I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with this one because you know, as you already know, if you watch our channel a lot, you already know that I always do the floss emote, but today I'll be doing something different. Let's do the dream feet emote because I know that's in the item shop. So again, if you guys want to test out stuff that's in the item shop, you can uh, go on in there and type in the name. And then again, there is the EID pops up as well. So if you want, you can also do it like this, but it's not required. And that does the exact same thing as if you just typed in emote dream feet. So there you go, as you guys can see that it's actually doing it uh, right there. So that's pretty much what that command does. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is the back bling command, which is going to be backpack. So you just have to type in backpack and then you can type in the back bling that you want. So I'm gonna be doing one from the item shop again, and it's gonna be called the bat nap. So it's gonna be like that. And again, it'll set it to the back nap. And you guys can see that it has changed just like the one in the item shop right now. I think I passed it. There it is, right in the item shop, and you can see it's the, it's the exact same one. So it's also really cool if you want to check out any of the backlinks in the item shop. So I'm going to be skipping over the pet and pickaxe commands because there are barely any pets in the game, and the pickaxe you cannot see in the lobby unless you do this one specific emote. So you guys can try them out on your own, they both work. So the next command is going to be the level command, and this one will make your lobby bot more believable by changing the level of the bot. So um, the command for this one is to be exclamation point level, so I'll show you guys it right now. And then you just want to type in the level that you want. So we're going to change ours to 100. So you'll see that it changed from um, 9,999 to 100. So that's what the level command does. Again, this one's pretty self-explanatory. And then right after that, I'm going to show you guys the banner command. All right, so one banner that I know works is the BR Season 1 banner. So haven't been able to get it to work with anything else because... Banners are hard to get the IDs for, so we're gonna be doing this one, BR Season 01, and then that one should change it to the Battle Bus like this instead of the Fist that we had before. And this one's gonna be the Styles command, and we'll be doing this one on the Ghoul Trooper skin. So we'll just do the skin Ghoul Trooper, and this will change it to the Ghoul Trooper, and then I'll show you guys all the styles for the Ghoul Trooper. So if you type in styles glue trooper, this one will um, give you all of the different styles that you can do for the skin. And then if you the style that you want um, is going to correspond with a number, sometimes there'll be more than three numbers. So we want the pink glue trooper, so we're going to do three, um, and that will change the glue trooper to pink. 
So if you go back on over here, we have the pink gold trooper now. So that's how you get variants. And a lot of people, I know we're asking about this before. So this is a really easy way to get variants. Okay, so there's a few more things that are not as cosmetic, but I really want to show them to you guys because there's a lot of questions about them and they're pretty useful to use. So the first one's going to be the send command. So this one will make it seem like the lobby bot is actually sending messages into the chat if you have someone else in the chat. So what we're going to do is we're saying send hi, and then that'll send the hi message to the party chat. And you can see it right down there. It says hi in the party chat. So if you have someone else in your party, it will send that and they'll see that. And shout out to these guys for messaging me. And then there's the whisper command, which will just send the message to people, to the person that you specify. So you guys probably already know what the whisper command is. Um, so we're going to be whispering to me. So we're going to do atomic XYZ. And then we're going to type in the text again. So we're going to do hi. And then if you go back into here, you'll see that it just sends it to me because it's purple. And then there's a few more commands left. So there's the clear command, which will clear the specific thing that you specify. I'm not gonna be showing that because the bot's not emoting, but if your bot was emoting to stop the emote from happening, or if it was like some sort of infinite emote that you wanted to stop, you can just do clear and then you can type in the emote name right there. So another really cool feature for trolling is in-game. So if you do in-game like this, um, you can have it have as many seconds or like people as you want in the game so if you do like in game three um you'll see that is in game with three different people right on over here so three remaining and you can do that with up to 225 people in your game so this is really useful for trolling other people so the final command let me show you guys that is actually really useful for trolling is the sit out and sit in commands so for this one you just do sit out and this will make the bot sit out like if you were actually sitting out so the final things I'm showing you guys today are the unreleased skins and emotes and other cosmetics. So if you go on over to this website and I'll have this link in the description, it has some confirmed unreleased skins. These bots should have them as they're already leaked in the game's files. So the first one that we're gonna do is the Potassius Peels and all you have to do is copy and paste this or if you're on mobile or something, you don't have to, you can just type it in. So you're just gonna use skin and then you can just paste that in and then it'll change it to this Potassius Peels which has already been leaked. And there you go, you have an unreleased skin in your lobby uh, right now. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the unreleased back blings. So one example of an unreleased back bling that we can use is this cape. And you just wanna copy that right over there. Or again, if you're on mobile, you can just type it in. And then you just wanna do the back bling, so backpack. And then you just wanna paste that in. And then it will change the backpack to that unreleased back bling. And you guys can see that now we have the unreleased back bling on his back. So we have an unreleased skin and an unreleased back bling. And finally, I'm going to show you guys the unreleased emote. So an unreleased emote that we can see on this page is the Phono Follies um, emote. And we're we'll using that one. So if you go back on into Discord, you can just type in emote and then you can just paste that one in. And then it'll start doing that emote that is unreleased. So. There you go guys, this is the unreleased back bling, unreleased emotes, and unreleased skin in our lobby right now. So this is how you can get these unreleased skins and show them off to your friends and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you in another one.